This is a St. Patrick's Day like no other, a day that none of us will ever forget. Today's children will tell their own children and grandchildren about the national holiday in 2020 that had no parties, no parades, but instead saw everyone staying at home to protect each other. In years to come, let them say of us, when things were at their worst, we were at our best. How much of our hometown do we actually see? We greet the same postman, drive down the same cluster of roads until we assume there's nothing left to discover. Into a year of delayed weddings and birthdays spent inside. Roads less travelled left quiet, rivers heard from miles away. As we adjust our zoom cameras and only dress up the top halves of our bodies. We had just grown out of our favourite jeans and assumed the world waited for life to start after our feet left childhood home steps warmed by street lamps and heather grey wool. Rather than forgetting the feelings of bumping past strangers and apologising for similar collisions, we enveloped this treacherous, panelled bridge with an eagerness to rediscover. That hollowed out log that sits by the riverbed, we once made our tree houses out of when we were six and seven, then eight up the whimsical optimism of youth, nine lives found again with backyard buried treasure. Muddled at the bottom of the glass, the last sip of this unresolved happy hour we made from our homemade bar. The land we knew turned into. Picking apples and making them into crumbles. Picking up the phone and return those calls. Picking a fight with your ego and making up in the morning. Picking the path that both frightens us and makes us human again. Let's write letters and dance on kitchen tables until reality hits once again. A golden goose's egg scrambled or fried. Either way, we made home a postcard and a sweet revival. <laughs>